to the Vixens Wrestling Federation's tribute to the troops. The troops are about to come home for the holidays. And ladies and gentlemen, what a way to send these uh, brave men and women home. Ladies and gentlemen, what a stack party we've got coming your way tonight. We are six days away from Finn Fatale. And tonight's main event is a killer tag team match. Fisto and Ali Mazzino team up against Lindsay and Tiffa. Let's take you to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's very special edition of Nitro. We are live from the very outskirts of Baghdad, Iraq. And ladies and gentlemen, what a card we've got coming your way tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, surrounded by about eight or 9,000 of America's very finest, the very bravest men and women this country has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Iraq war is officially over. Troops are getting ready to come home. And ladies and gentlemen, what a show to send them home on. And there you see two of the Sailor Senshi, Ray Hino and Makoto Kino, ready for action. This was a match that was made last week, ladies and gentlemen. And there you see Usagi Sakino making her way down. Definitely a mixed reaction. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, as a last reminder, we are six days away this coming Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas Day. You don't want to spend it, you know, just sleeping off a big dinner. You don't want to spend it watching the NBA. No, ladies and gentlemen, it will be femme fatale. And ladies and gentlemen, it is sure to be a quick review to remember. And take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Minako Aino teaming up with Usagi Sakino tonight. And Minako Aino, for the very first time, well, ladies and gentlemen, that I can remember, coming out in her Sailor V attire. Minako Aino going old school here tonight. Coming out, not in her uh, Sailor Venus gear, but in her Sailor V gear. The original Sailor Warrior. It's the leader and the original, well, former leader that is, versus Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter. I'm talking, of course, about Ray Hino and Makoto Kino. Bell's gone, we are underway. First match of our tribute to the troops coming your way. And ladies and gentlemen, this is definitely an all-American night here on Nitro, ladies and gentlemen. And one thing that I wanna take a, a moment to remind you of, ladies and gentlemen, if you are living in the United States. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, vote on the, the uh, SOPA bill, of course, was delayed, as well as the uh, bill for the uh, Protect IP Act. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the public service announcements from the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight is not over. We urge you to call your local representative, call your local congressperson, whether they be man or woman, Ladies and gentlemen, we urge you to make that call to tell them that you still support a free and open internet. Because ladies and gentlemen, let's face it, if that bill passes, this could very well be the very last episode of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, we wouldn't want that to happen before Femme Fatale. And so far, Makoto Kino and Ray Hino with the advantage on Usagi Sakino. Usagi, of course, without her senshi powers, she was stripped of those senshi powers several weeks ago. We got a lateral press here. One, two, no. Referee only saying two. Sailor V was ready to make the save. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so glad to uh, be able to uh, entertain the troops, ladies and gentlemen, as they prepare to come home for the holidays. And ladies and gentlemen, we certainly hope they come home for good. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long couple of years, but ladies and gentlemen, it's finally over and our brave men and women can come home. And we're gonna get a double team maneuver here, a rocket launcher, and that was very well executed. Sailor V now, lateral press, one, and only a one. Makoto Kino making the save. Sailor V now. Let her guard down for a moment. Ray Hino with a go behind. Nice drop kick. But Sailor V stays on her feet. Connor Obotaya into an arm bar. A 
Wow, look at Ray Hino twisting that arm. And Sailor V goes down in a heap. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, a huge main event coming your way. Our very last match before Femme Fatale this Sunday. It will uh, pit Lufisto and Ami Mizuno against Lindsay and Tiffa Lockhart. Ladies and gentlemen, you certainly don't want to miss that. And ladies and gentlemen, I say it every time that we are nearing a click review. Ladies and gentlemen, you still have six days to make that call to your local cable provider, to your local internet provider. Ladies and gentlemen, make that call and tell them you want to be a part of Femme Fatale. Ladies and gentlemen, what better way to celebrate Christmas? Well, ladies and gentlemen, then to uh, spend it with the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, one of the big questions, uh, this is the uh, last night, ladies and gentlemen, for Aerith Gainsborough to uh, show up ready to uh, compete. If not, ladies and gentlemen, then by the end of this broadcast, she will have forfeited the VWF Championship. It'll be interesting to see if she can make it to the outskirts of Baghdad in time. And Makoto Kino now with the advantage on Sailor V. Now Sailor V with a go behind. Boot to the midsection. Sailor V now. Setting Makoto Kino up. Getting a running start. Oh my, just rings her neck on the second rope. And Usagi Sakino looks pleased. Trying to uh, wrestle her way back into the senshi, ladies and gentlemen. And blind tag made. Usagi Sakino coming in. Oh, my Sailor V with a couple of kicks so that Makoto Kino can remember her. And a nice neck breaker right there from the former leader of the Senshi. Look at the leg. One, two. We can have a three. No, Ray Hino makes the save. And Usagi right now just, I think she said something to Ray Hino. Definitely some bad blood the last couple of weeks. Oh, my. Nice uh, deflection there. And, but... Oh well, no, Usagi missed with that uh, drop kick. Oh my, but Makoto Kino nails that one right on the button. But Usagi doesn't go down. But Makoto does. Usagi with a drop kick of her own. Now back up on a vertical base, Irish whip. Makoto off the ropes. Leapfrog from Usagi. A second leapfrog into a well executed hip toss. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great spending this week with the troops. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that they are all glad that the job is done here in the Middle East. But ladies and gentlemen, they know that we must remain ever vigilant as a country and as a planet. Ladies and gentlemen, truly some brave men and women in attendance here tonight for the Vixens Wrestling Federation's tribute to the troops. Now Sailor V back in using those kicks so, so well. Hook of the leg. Sailor V could do it here too. But Ray Hino makes the save. Oh, now Usagi restraining Makoto Kino. But no, I think Sailor V's telling her that she doesn't want to, she didn't want to take a shortcut. Sailor V wanting to do this the uh, old fashioned way, if you will. Conobo type go behind from Sailor V and a drop kick. But Makoto Kino stays up on a vertical base. And Sailor V allows Makoto to tag in Ray Hino here. Into a headlock. Oh, my elbow deflected into a knee. And a nice DDT from Ray Hino, a.k.a. Sailor Mars. And, it, and right now, the original Senshi, Sailor V, is in a lot of trouble. Oh, but a nice spinning heel kick right there from Ray Hino. And now Ray going to take a chance. Oh, my. That was a little bit ill-advised there. Sailor V rolled out of the way. Sailor V now going to the top rope. Measures Ray. And catches her with a martial arts kick. That high-risk maneuver definitely paid off. And now Sailor V perhaps going for the V-kick. Oh, my, and Ray Hino knew it, and she finds a way to get out of it. Oh, nice bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, just perfect weather here in the Middle East, ladies and gentlemen, for this outdoor event. And there's the V-kick. I think Ray Hino just got the lights turned out. One, two. And I think Sailor V ducked out of the way when... Uh, Makoto Kino was about to attack her. Oh, lion saw from Ray Hino. Ray Hino's got new life in this one. And now she goes back on the top. This time she connects with the Senton. And Ray instinctively makes the tag to Makoto. Sailor V in a lot of trouble here. Oh my, big running elbow there from Makoto Kino, AKA Sailor Jupiter. 
Carnival tie-up. Sailor V now in a bad part of town. Usagi can do nothing but watch. And double-team maneuver coming up here. Irish whip. Oh, my. Just no way to cover up from that huge Savat kick. And a frog splash connects. That could do it. The cover. One, two, and just in the nick of time, Usagi Sakino makes the save. Oh, my, that would have definitely been it. Listen to these fans, ladies and gentlemen, giving all four of these women the accolades they deserve. Sailor V leaps and nails a moonsault. Oh, my, shot to the midsection there from Ray. Ray right back up. Oh, and look at that. Taking a shot at Usagi. Usagi's not even the legal woman. Oh, my. And a drop kick clears Usagi out. Come on, Ray. Definitely not, not model behavior from Sailor Mars there. And listen to these fans. I think they're actually chanting for Sailor V and Usagi. Oh, my. We're going to have it. What's this going to be? Oh, my. That's 619 there. Ray off the ropes and uh, nails the splash. That could do it. One, two. And once again, Usagi comes in in the nick of time. Now, Sailor V. Look at this. Very athletic move from Sailor V. Now, picking Ray back up. Boot to the midsection. No, deflected. Ray nails the rolling mandala. And that's it. But Ray's not going for the cover. And a kip up there from Sailor V. Flying forearm. Sailor V's found her second win. Oh, Ray missed with that. Oh, my, what a huge V kick. She got it all the way. The cover. One, two. Oh, come on, referee. Give me a break. That would have been it. Oh, my. Sailor V tried to give Makoto a taste of her own medicine, but Makoto pulled down the ropes. Ray, oh, missed with that huge dive to the outside. And I think Ray Hino may have knocked herself out. What an opening contest for this special edition of Nitro. Sailor V all alone. Nothing Usagi can do from the other side. And look at this. Come on, referee. It's two on one here. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how Sailor V is going to be able to dig deep here. She's in a lot of trouble. Go behind from Ray into a bulldog. It may be academic from this point. And surprisingly, Ray Hino and Makoto Kino were the ones that have taken the most shortcuts in this match. Oh, my. Ray Hino nails another 6-1-9. This one should do it. And that full body splash off of the top. That should do it. That should be enough to put Sailor V away. And now Ray going to put the exclamation point on it with the rolling mandala. And that's going to do it. No, no, Sailor V somehow made a tag. She somehow made a tag. I don't believe it. Usagi, a house of fire. How on earth did Sailor V make that tag? Moon Clash, Moon Clash coming up. And Usagi plants Ray. Ray Hino is unconscious. The cover. One, two. Yes, she got her. And Usagi Sakino and Sailor V put away Ray Hino and Makoto Kino. What a tag team contest to open up our tribute to the troops. You talk about a match that was back and forth. Back and forth it went. The pendulum swung again and again. But in the end, Somehow, and I don't know how, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm, I may never figure it out. Somehow, Sailor V made a tag while she was in the middle of being hit with the rolling mandala. Usagi comes in, hits the moon clash, and puts Ray Hino away. Ladies and gentlemen, what an effort. What an effort by Usagi Sakino and Sailor V. They have earned this commentator's respect.
Oh my, will Usagi take the challenge? An inferno match. Well, maybe Usagi uh, hasn't learned the lesson that we all thought that she may have. Usagi still has some work to do, if you catch my drift, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, the challenge has been accepted at Femme Fatale in six days, an inferno match. It's the Queen of the Mountain briefcase versus admission back into the Senshi. Ladies and gentlemen, what a killer match. Add it to Femme Fatale. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now perhaps a, maybe a taste of things to come at Femme Fatale. One half of the tag team champions, Reiko Hinamoto, squares off against one half of the challengers, the number one contenders, Michiru Kayo. And these fans definitely with no love lost for Michiru. And ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 gotta, I gotta take you back to last week, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Haruka and Michiru made a huge statement last week on Nitro. It was Haruka going one-on-one -on -one against Hillary Duff, a huge underdog. Everyone thought that Hillary Duff was going to make a huge statement with Haruka and put her away easily, but no. Haruka beat Hillary Duff at her own game, overpowered her, outclassed her in every aspect of the match, and Hillary Duff's Make a Statement Tour came to a screeching halt. Michiru, of course, was, was not even at ringside. Haruka beat Hillary Duff fair and square, sending a huge message, perhaps, to the reigning and defending tag team champions, Tequila Sunrise. And now, will Michiru complete the second half of that major statement. Haruka and Michiru, of course, the number one contenders. And ladies and gentlemen, it'll be round four between the Outer Senshi and Tequila Sunrise this Sunday at Femme Fatale. Perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, the final chapter. And listen to these fans erupt. Here comes the zero fighter, Reiko Hinamoto. One half of the VWF Tag Team Champions along with her partner, the three-count cowgirl, Dixie Clements. And ladies and gentlemen, you talk about a dominant tag team. Tequila Sunrise, arguably one of the most dominant tag teams, pound for pound, in all of CAW wrestling. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, what else can you say about the rivalry between the Outer Senshi and Tequila Sunrise? Two teams that absolutely hate one another, and ladies and gentlemen, at Femme Fatale, it'll be the fourth and perhaps final encounter. These two right now in a feeling out process perhaps here. Oh, my big knee from Michiru. That'll definitely get Reiko's attention. Oh, my, Reiko fires back though with a heart attack. Close to 10,000 strong here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for this special edition of VWF Nitro, our tribute to the troops. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank all of these brave men and women for their service to our country and, of course, for showing up here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's been our honor and privilege to meet some of these people over the past week, ladies and gentlemen, that we've been around here. And Michiru right here going for a cover one. And only a one count. These fans, 100% behind Reiko Hinamoto. Oh my, what a big power bomb there from Reiko. And a modified figure four here. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, last week it was Haruka that made the big statement, defeating Hillary Duff. This week, Michiru looking to make a statement herself. And if you'll notice, just like last week in Haruka's match, well, Haruka's not present at ringside. Michiru 
I think would, would love nothing more than to put Reiko Hinamoto away here fair and square. Oh, my, and that flashback right there, that modified neck breaker. Oh, Lion Salt off the second rope connects. And Michiru Kaya with the advantage. Hook of the leg. One, two, and two is all she can get. Reiko fired into the buckle. Oh, huge bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night it's already been. With that huge opening contest. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure this one will be just as exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing like VWF action. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, as we say every week, we are the league that connects to you, the fans. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. On Twitter, search for the hashtag VWF Wrestling. And Reiko, high risk maneuver pays off with that cross body. That could do it, lateral press, one, two. Oh my, and the crowd will tell you it was only a two count. 10,000 strong on their feet. Definitely behind the tag team champion. Definitely behind Reiko Hinamoto. And a big high risk maneuver there with another missile drop kick. And Reiko gonna leap again. And that one connects. And Reiko is quickly pulling away here. One, two, and only a two. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, our main event, keep it in mind, coming up in a few short moments, Lufisto and Ami Mizuno squaring off against the team of Lindsay and Tiffa Lockhart. You don't want to miss that one. Oh, and a big drop kick there from Michiru, but, but Reiko stays on a vertical base. Oh, and a nice drop kick from Reiko. One thing I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, Tequila Sunrise has absolutely been a huge hit with the troops this week. Everybody wanting to talk to the tag team champions, to get autographs, to get pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess you can say Tequila Sunrise over this past week has definitely been the life of the party. And that is why each and every one of these troops here in, in attendance tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that's why every last one of them would love to see Reiko pull off a win here. It's all about making a huge statement going into Femme Fatale. Of course, these two will meet again in six short days, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, you've seen them just like I have. And we got a two count right there. I almost got sidetracked. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you know what this rivalry means. There's, there's nothing else that I can say that would do any kind of justice that would... Ladies and gentlemen, what you see is what you get. Definitely one of the biggest rivalries in the history of this young company. And ladies and gentlemen, hopefully, hopefully it will be the final chapter between these two heated rivals, these two tag teams at Femme Fatale, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps Christmas Day will be the final chapter. And ladies and gentlemen, who will come away with the belts? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen the outer senshi firing on all cylinders like they have the last couple of weeks. They earned number one contendership. Oh, my, as Reiko goes flying to the outside there. They earned number one contendership by easily putting away Team G4 as you see another high-risk maneuver from Michiru. Like I said a couple of weeks ago, Haruka and Michiru easily put away Team G4, and ever since, they've been on the warpath. And Reiko now, after that power bomb on the concrete. Oh my, gonna give some uh, up close and personal action, oh my, in front of these troops. Ladies and gentlemen, you talk about a fired up crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, I dare to say that uh, half as many people here on the outskirts of Baghdad, ladies and gentlemen, make just as much noise as 20,000 strong in the VWF arena. And this crowd trying to get Reiko back in it. And oh my, what are we going to get? Frankensteiner, oh my, high impact maneuver there. And that may have just won Michiru the match. Michiru. Going for, a, oh my, she nailed it. She nailed 
That bulldog off of the turnbuckle. Definitely one of her favorite moves. Oh, but Rako. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you can get away with it, I guess, <laughs> any which way you can. Oh, my, but Rako walked right back into it. Deep submerge. Rako walked right back into it. Hook of the leg. One, two. No. No, somehow Rako kicked out of the deep submerge at one. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Where did Rako find the energy to kick out of that? Especially at one. Threat suplex. Michiru staying right on the offensive. Rako kicking out of her finisher did not phase her at all. Michiru has stayed right on Rako. You gotta hand it to her. Oh, but Rako comes right back up with a clothesline. And these fans are starting to feel it. Another clothesline. This sold out crowd. Well, ladies and gentlemen, no, it, it's, I, I, I should correct myself, not a sellout crowd because this was a free show, ladies and gentlemen. But look at that. Look at that moonsault from Reiko. And Reiko is quickly trying to get back in this one. Reiko on the comeback trail. Listen to these fans. Listen to these fans chant for Reiko. I can't even talk over this. Rako feeding off of this crowd. And what are we going to see here? Oh, my, she caught her. She caught her with that fireman's carry gut buster. And that can only mean one thing. She's going for the angel dive. She leaps and connects. Hook of the leg. One, two. She got her. And Rako Hinamoto digs deep and finds a way to defeat Michiru Kayo. And Tequila Sunrise has the luxury of going into Femme Fatale with a huge advantage. A huge moral victory here for Reiko Hinamoto. And Tequila Sunrise, perhaps with the upper hand, going into Femme Fatale, which is six days away. But ladies and gentlemen, in six days, it'll be the match that matters. It'll be the one that counts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here comes Haruka. Oh, no. And I would say that I'm surprised, but quite frankly, I'm not. A cowardly attack. And this is a familiar scene. Haruka and Michiru. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got to move on. As we're breaking it up in the ring, let's take one last look at the card that you can expect in six short days at Femme Fatale. It will be a TLC match, ladies and gentlemen. A TLC match, the final chapter between these two tag teams. The champions, Tequila Sunrise, defend against the challengers and number one contenders, Haruka and Michiru. And then, ladies and gentlemen, a match just announced several minutes ago, an Inferno match between Usagi Sakino and Rei Hino. If Rei wins, she is the new queen of the mountain. If Usagi wins, she gets her senshi powers back. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, Dufisto posted this on her Facebook. She will be holding a hardcore invitational for her hardcore championship. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody can answer the call. Who will it, who will it be? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, a lot more action yet to be announced, and there you see the theme of Femme Fatale performed by Egypt Central and well, you can read it. <laughs> Available now wherever music is sold. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, six short days until Femme Fatale. Make that call to be a part of our next Click Review. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time here on this special edition of Nitro. Lou Fisto teams up with Ami Mizuno to take on two-thirds of Al-Qaeda, Lindsay, and Tiffa Lockhart. Take it away, Diana Buffer. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we can't get all the way through the uh, Ben Patel card because, ladies and gentlemen, I have to remind you that this, is, this tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Aerith's last chance. Aerith Gainsborough has to show up tonight here at, uh, at the Tribute to the Troops. She has to show up with a clean bill of health. Otherwise, ladies and I mean, 
So, ladies and gentlemen, we we don't have a we don't have a main event yet for Fifth Fatal. But, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully, here in the next uh, few minutes, we will hopefully have your main event for Femme Fatale. Will it be Ami Mizuno against that woman, Tippa Lockhart? Or will it be Aerith against Tippa? Tippa Lockhart, of course, won number one contendership last week on Nitro against, well, ladies and gentlemen, her very partner, her fellow disciple in Al-Qaeda, Lindsay. Tippa, the new number one contender, looking to uh, bring the BWF Championship back to Al-Qaeda and to her uh, mentor, Abdullah Bin Laden. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this crowd is on their feet. And here comes Lufisto, the hardcore champion. And the super hardcore anime is dressed for battle. Definitely dressed for the occasion is the super hardcore anime Lufisto. Lufisto looking to perhaps get a little bit of revenge on Al-Qaeda. She's been just as involved in this war between the Vixens Wrestling Federation and Al-Qaeda as anybody else, ladies and gentlemen. And now, 10,000 strong on their feet for the entrance of the living legend. Even Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler are here. Here she comes, one of the true legends of this entire sport. I am talking, of course, about the living legend. Some call her Sailor Mercury. Some call her Darkery. But most just call her On. Ladies and gentlemen, the electricity, you can absolutely cut it with a knife. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is our last stop for the Tower. And you have to wonder what is going through the head of that one on the center. Because ladies and gentlemen, depending on whether Aerith Gainsborough can show up inside that squirt circle tonight, Ami could either be looking at taking a shot for the vacated BWF championship, or she could be looking at not even being on the card. What is going through her head here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, definitely, ladies and gentlemen, not just a penny for Ami's thoughts. She could sell them for $100. But as it stands, ladies and gentlemen, she is the living legend. She's not one to look past the task at hand. And the task at hand here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event here at the Tribute to the Troops is to defeat Al-Qaeda, is to turn away Lindsay and the number one contender, Tiffa Lockhart. Bell's gone, we are underway. This is what brought 10,000 strong of America's bravest men and women. And ladies and gentlemen, this place is rocking. There you see it, of course, ladies and gentlemen. One last reminder, in six short days, it will be Femme Fatale. This Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, we, we definitely hope that you can spend your Christmas with the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you will never forget Femme Fatale. And ladies and gentlemen, it will be a Christmas to remember. Oh my, and already Al-Qaeda starting out cutting corners. And listen to these fans. Listen to these fans absolutely giving it to Al-Qaeda here. You talk about public enemy number one and two, you're talking about Lindsay and Tiffa. Ladies and gentlemen, Abdallah bin Laden, perhaps afraid to even show her face here tonight because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure she probably couldn't imagine what these uh, brave men and women are capable of. You talk about, ladies and I mean, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, nobody, can, uh, nobody understands what this means any better than this sold-out crowd this capacity crowd of 10,000 of our bravest troops. And a big double team maneuver there. Lindsay hit the turnbuckle at about 100 miles an hour. And now Ami Mizuno getting her first action here tonight. And listen to this crowd. They want nothing more than to see Ami and Lufisto overcome Al-Qaeda here tonight. 
One. And only a one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd say if you could ask this 10,000 strong, all they want for Christmas is an Ami and Lufisto victory. Oh my, and that one definitely with some authority. Ami continuing to go to work on Lindsay. You have to wonder wherever she is, what Abdallah bin Laden must be thinking. Oh my, and oh my. Ami tried to uh, go for a pedigree it looked like, but Lindsay was able to get out of it. Big DDT from Lindsay. Take nothing away from Lindsay and Tiffa Lockhart. They are both former NGW Women's Champions as well as Ami. A lot of seasoned veterans in that squared circle here tonight in the main event. Double team maneuver, drop to hold elbow, got it. Al-Qaeda definitely working against the crowd here tonight. This crowd doing anything it can, saying anything they can to try and get in the heads of Tiffa and Lindsay. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to wonder down the stretch if this crowd is going to start to wear on them. Boot to the midsection from Tiffa and a big clothesline. Tiffa deceptively powerful. She can take your head off in an instant. And nice reversal from Ami with that Russian leg sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so glad you could join us here tonight on this very special episode of Nitro. It has been an honor and privilege to conduct this tribute to the troops. And ladies and gentlemen, our final stop before Femme Fatale has been a great one. And what a way to cap it off if Ami and Lufisto could come away with a victory here tonight. Send these uh, troops home happy. And, oh my, big double underhook power bomb. That could do it. No hook of the leg and only a one count. Oh my, Luthes press fist and fire from the former women's champion. And right now, Tifa Lockhart is in a world of hurt. Oh, but a nice go behind there, nice counter. But Ami with a counter of her own. And Bulldog onto Tifa. Tifa had better watch out in there. She may not be in any shape to compete for the VWF title at Femme Fatale. And a huge clothesline. Now Lou Fisto, the super hardcore anime, back in. And a big kick right there. That was about a 50-yard field goal. Calling up a tie-up, Lou Fisto with Tifa. Big suplex. And a hook of the leg. One, two, and two is all she can find. Lufisto, though, staying on the advantage. Fires Tiffa into the buckle. And a big chop. That'll definitely, oh, huge boot in the, in the corner. Tiffa had no way to cover up. Tiffa's lucky her head is still attached to her neck at this point. Big backdrop. And Lufisto definitely looking good here tonight. Knee drop connects. A second one. Lou Fisto really going to work here. The VWF Hardcore Champion. Oh, my. I was about to say she was really in business, but Tiffa turns it around. Ladies and gentlemen, is that Sergeant Slaughter? I thought I heard Sergeant Slaughter chanting for a moment. If he's in attendance, well, somebody tell him I was a huge fan of his work. And Tiffa Lockhart taking the advantage, tagging in the fresh Lindsay. And Lindsay with shades of Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig right there with that neck breaker. Huge elbow drop. It's still anybody's match here in the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Our very last stop before Femme Fatale. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't stress it enough. What an event it's going to be on Christmas Day, ladies and gentlemen. Spend your Christmas with the Vixens Wrestling Federation. I guarantee you'll never forget Femme Fatale. And look at this Northern Lights suplex with a nice bridge, but only a one count. Ladies and gentlemen, we still do not know what our main event for Femme Fatale is going to be. Aerith Gainsborough is running, is quickly running out of time to show up here tonight in that squared circle ready to compete. And ladies and gentlemen, if she cannot, it will be Ami versus Tiffa for the vacated VWF title this Sunday. But if she does show up, 
it will pro it will well ladies and gentlemen you gotta imagine it will be Aerith versus Tiffa. And Tiffa tagged in with a big backdrop on Lufisto. Tiffa definitely put some uh, extra mustard on that one. And now stomping the life out of Lufisto. Just stomping away. That, those stomps will drain you in a hurry. Oh my, just an absolute mugging with those stomps. But Lufisto's back up. So I think, I think she only made Lufisto angry. Lufisto, no stranger to taking a lot of punishment. Oh my, and I think she moved the ring there. Did you hear? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that, that sent chills down my spine. And once again, Lufisto fired hard into the buckle. And a big shoulder charge from Tiffa. Tiffa is definitely looking to cause some permanent damage here tonight on Lufisto and Ami. And ladies and gentlemen, it all stemmed from War Games last month, ladies and gentlemen when Al-Qaeda was able to overcome the Dream Team. But here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, two-thirds of the Dream Team looking to get some revenge right before Femme Fatale over two-thirds of Al-Qaeda. And another huge chop, a second one. Listen to these, ladies and gentlemen. Just devastating chops. And listen to these fans chant for Lufisto. Ten thousand strong, chanting for Lufisto, and the super hardcore anime with a huge German suplex. Lufisto and Ami with the advantage, and here comes Ami. She's had about ten minutes of rest. Oh my! And she is on the warpath, and her target is Tiffa Lockhart. They were once the best of friends. Now they are the worst of enemies. Huge gut buster. Could you be looking? at the main event of Femme Fatale for the vacant BWF title. And Ami, look at this, going, tried to go for that double underhook powerbomb, but Tiffa was able to sneak out the back door. Oh, but Ami, oh my, Ami defiant as always, but Tiffa made her pay. Now, here comes Lindsay with a beautiful neck breaker. Ladies and gentlemen, all I can say, Finn Fatale, six days away. You still have time to make that call to your local internet provider to tell them you want to be a part of history. You want to be a part of the Christmas Day Spectacular. And Lindsay right there with that unorthodox suplex, we've seen her use it so many times. And I think she may have signaled for the FUB. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that Ami will, I'm sure that uh, we still have a long way to go before Lindsay can even think about hitting the FUB on Ami. Oh my, and you could hear those strikes. And another unorthodox suplex there from Lindsay. Lindsay with control. Ami showing no signs of life here. And perhaps this capacity crowd starting to uh, have the wind out, taking out their sails, but Ami ducked out of the way. And tag is made. Here comes Lufisto. Down goes Lindsay. Down goes Tiffa. Lufisto's a house of fire. And Lufisto, she's setting her up. Emerald Fusion got it. Mitsu Haru Misawa would be proud. Tiffa cleared out. One, two. Yes, she got her. Lufisto and Ami are your winners here tonight. Ami and Lufisto have defeated Lindsay and Tiffa. And a huge statement sent to Al-Qaeda here tonight at the tribute to the troops. And ladies and gentlemen, what a way to send these troops home with a huge victory. Mufisto and Ami stand triumphant in the ring. They are your winners here tonight in the main event. And ladies and gentlemen, we wish all the best to our brave men and women as they make their way home for the holidays, ladies and gentlemen. And we give them our unending gratitude. But ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the boss. And ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's do or die for Aerith. Let's find out our main event. Will we have a vacated title? Let's take you to the CEO, Frederick James Francis.
What's it going to be here? What's it going to be? The music hits. And there she is. The champ is here. Aerith is back. Ladies and gentlemen, the VWF champion, Aerith Gainsborough, is back. And she is here, live and in living color. Let's take you back to the ring. I like it. I like it, ladies and gentlemen. But what does the boss say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Ami's music. Ami coming back out here. And she's got a mic. What does the living legend have to say here? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. There's no denying Ami deserves her shot. Oh my, the CEO faced with a huge decision here. What will he say? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna, let, let's lay out here for a second. We gotta let these three settle this. Ami coming down to the ring and perhaps the very future of the Vixens Wrestling Federation will be decided in that ring between these three. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the ring. We're all waiting with anticipation. Let's take you back to the ring. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen. Two huge matches for Femme Fatale. Al-Qaeda. No, it's Abdallah. Abdallah coming out here, and I'm sure she's going to give us her two cents. Let's see what he, she has to say.
Ladies and gentlemen, I think we all need to get ready for Femme Fatale. A huge parting statement from the boss. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ami and Abdallah. And ladies and gentlemen, for the world title, for the VWF title, it's Tifa and Aerith in an Iron Vixen match. Ladies and gentlemen, see you Sunday. Good night. God bless.